All right. We are getting ready to just do a quick video on prime numbers divisibility rules. Okay, so prime numbers, one in itself. Okay, so just real quick ones. We know one, two, five. Oh, I missed three in there. <laughs> three, five, seven, not nine because nine is divisible by three. I started just counting odd numbers, 11, and then the list goes on, right? So we're looking for numbers that are only divisible by one in itself. Two, even though it's even, falls into this list because it's only divisible by one in itself. So that's prime numbers. Divisibility, divisibility rules. These are rules that help us know if a number divides into another number, how can this help? It makes it to where we're not just trying to guess and check, but we can actually use logic to limit our numbers. So you should already know that to be divisible by two, it has to be an even number. And the hashtag, before it was a hashtag, was the symbol for number. So it's going back as the symbol for number when you're in Mrs. Cartwright's classroom. All right, so if it's an even number, then it's divisible by two. If it's an even number, then that's when we can also try the fours, the sixes, and the eights. Any any even number that we're trying to divide in, those are will only divide into even numbers. So just a thought. All right, threes. We're going to add the digits. And if that sum is divisible by three, then the number's divisible by three. So for instance, easy one. 18, right? I know you know 3 goes into 18, but that's why we're going to use it. When I take, it doesn't equal, I'm just taking 1 plus 8, I get 9, right? 9 can be divided by 3, and since 9 is divisible by 3, that means 18 is divisible by 3. We can do this with bigger numbers, like 411, which is the same as 4 plus 1 plus 1. I add those together, I get 6, which means 411 is divisible by 3 because 6 is divisible by 3. Does not mean that the answer is 6, right? It just means that I can divide it by 3. Give me a second. I'll do that division and show you. Okay, why did I pause it and all of a sudden there's this big number here? Because I need to save time and me going through that long division does not save time. But if you notice, 411 divided by 3, 3 goes in there 137 times evenly. So again, when I add up the digits, this number here, I just have to know if it's divisible by 3. If it's divisible by 3, then 3 will divide into my number. That is the same for 9. We're going to go out of order here. We add our digits and I want to know if it's divisible by 9. If it's divisible by 9, then 9 goes into the number. So again, 18. 1 plus 8 was 9. 9 divides into 18. But the 411, that, when I added it together, came up to be 6. 9 is not dividing evenly into 411. That's how that works. All right, another easy one. 5 has to be a 0 or a five, that's what it ends in, right? You're 10, you're 20, you're 30, you're 15, you're 25, right? We get the, the gist, has to end in zero or five. Six must be divisible by both, that's the big key there, two and three. So it has to be even, that's what the two right? Because 2 are, goes into all even numbers. So it has to be even. And then if it's divisible by 3 and even, then it's divisible by 6. So again, if we look at the 18 and the 411, 18 is even and divisible by 3. Therefore, it is divisible by 6. 411 is divisible by 3, but it's not even. So it is not divisible by 6. Okay, so it has to be both even and when you add it all up, the sum is divisible by 3. All right, tens, another easy one. Zero, right? Ends in zero. I guess I should put the ends in, otherwise that may get a little confusing. 
ends in zero. Oops. Go back. Okay. Now, if you wonder why I put that line there, that's so you know it's a Z and not one of my twos. All right. 12 is a lot like 6. It must be divisible by both 4 and 3. Now, you may say, Miss Scarberry, we didn't talk about divisibility rules for number four or for four. Well, most of the numbers we're looking at are two digit numbers, and the divisibility rule for four is look at the last two digits. And if they're divisible by four, then the number's divisible by four. Well, when they're all two digit numbers, that's not helping us. Because then I just have to know that the two digit number is divisible by four. So that's why it's not on the list. Eight's not on the list, seven's not on the list because they don't have easy divisibility rules. Like eight has to do with like the last three numbers are divisible by eight. That's not fun. We're not working with three digit numbers or more than three digit numbers, so it's not helpful. But what I can tell you is there's no point in see, trying to see if it's divisible by four or eight if it is odd. Those four and eight will only divide into even numbers. So, how does this help us? Well, when you're looking at your worksheet that you have and you're seeing numbers, I'm just going to put some random numbers up here. Maybe we'll do one more from my list. Okay, and we're supposed to be shading in if they're prime, right? Well, I then have to ask myself, well, 19's odd, so that takes out... Two, four, six, and eight. None of those go into it, right? Okay, well, I just took out four numbers. I know won't divide into it. Nine plus one is ten. Ten is not divisible by three or nine. So 19 is not divisible by three or nine. Seven does not divide into 19. That's just something you just kind of have to know. It doesn't end in a zero, so 10 doesn't divide into it. We already said 4 didn't divide into it, so 12 doesn't divide into it. 2 didn't divide into it, so 6, well, I guess we said it wasn't even, so 6 didn't, was already taken out. So guess what? The only thing going into 19 is 1 and 19. That's it. So this one is prime. So on my uh, worksheet, I would shade it in. Okay. That's a prime number. But then I go to 63, and I'm like, okay, well, it's not even. So 2, 4, 6, and 8 are out. So then I, I add it together. 6 plus 3 is 9. Oh, well, then that means that 3 and 9 will divide into it. And just knowing multiplication, it's 9 times 7 that gives me 63. Okay? We already said that 6 and 8 were out because they're even, and this one's an odd number. Um, all the rest of them outside of 9 were even numbers that we had rules for. So that's, that's our, we found divisibility. What that tells us, though, is that that is the moment we knew 3 went into it. We knew it wasn't prime. I can move on. The moment I look at this one and say, oh, it's even, right? Well, 2 goes into it. And it's a zero, so five and ten go into it. At that moment, it's a composite and not prime. And you can continue finding all the others. Three and nine won't go into it because seven plus zero is seven. Um, and since three doesn't go into it, six won't go into it. And we know eight won't go into it. Um, so yeah, those are our list. 54, it's even, so I know 2 goes into it. I know 5 plus 4 is 9, right? And so 3 and 9 go into it. Doesn't end in a 5, so I know 5, and doesn't end in 0, so 5 won't go into it. Um, but 2 and 3 went into it, so 6 goes into it, right? I can quickly make that list just by looking at and doing we added, we didn't have to do actual division. We added five and four and went, oh, nine's divisible by nine. Three goes into it and nine goes into it. So that's, that's it. That's how that works. If you're still struggling, feel free to ask questions. Um, 
and check around with those around you, okay? I will see you tomorrow when I return.